3 for C, these 3 for D, and then here these 3 for B, and these 3 for A. So these registers we can access using in and out instructions. Right. Okay. So similarly, if you want to, if you want to replace this instruction in a different way, then how you can write it? So here you have a two way to write this in R16, let's say, now earlier we had R19, in R19, 0x10, that's mean R19 will be loaded from the data present at pin D. And the similarly we can say here R19 and then we can directly write here our pin actually. Pin D. So in this case it will also load this R19 with the data present at pin D. So the moral of these two instructions are either you can write here the absolute address of this pin D I mean for any IO registers or you can write here the name of any IO registers. So a generalized instruction become here RR in RR and then here it becomes a, a either address or IO register names. Okay, great. So, let's say if we write an instruction and let's try to understand that with an example. Let's say if I write this code in R1 pin D and then in R2 pin B and then finally we are writing here add sorry add sorry R1 and R2 and then STS 0x30 and R1. Can you solve this? Let me explain you one by one. So the first R1 will be loaded from the data presents into the pin D. So the pin D here if you see for this port all the data so how it works it takes all the bits on the port D register and according to the uh, the status of those pin let's say we have here uh, pin D0 and here we have pin D7 let's say this is 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 and 1 then what happened here if we like if we uh, take these instructions like this then uh, we have here 8 pin sorry 8 uh, data bit from here to here then with this it will be loaded the r1 so that's mean if we convert this into the hex value it will become 0b let's say first 0b 1101 and then 1010. So if you convert this into the hexadecimal, it becomes 0x. It it will become C and here it becomes uh, 9. Sorry, it this becomes A. Okay. So total it becomes C A. So the R1 will be loaded with these numbers that is the C A. And the similarly here the R2 will be loaded here. The data presents that means the status of port B that's the pin b and then finally we are adding here r1 and the r2 that's mean what we are doing we are adding the data presents into the pin d and the data presents at the pin b and then finally we are storing that data at the location of 0x30 that's mean into the ram let's say here you have a ram and uh, after gpr after SFR, SFR ends here 0x005f and then after that here the somewhere 
we are storing this data into the RAM. Okay, and the address of that RAM, let's say the 0x30. So at this location, the data of R1 plus R2 will be stored into SRAM finally after executing these four instructions. So you might ask that what is the difference between in and the LDS instruction which we had seen earlier. You know the LDS instruction, uh, how you can say here the in and the LDS, sorry. In instruction operates on the SFR register, how your LDS operates only on the GPR registers. In type of instructions are two byte instruction that's mean it takes two byte of memory space however LDS is a four byte instruction space it takes four byte that means to loading a GPR with the LDS so in a code space this LDS in type of instruction takes four byte of memory however in type of instructions takes only the two byte of memory With the in type of instruction, we can use the name of IO registers instead of the address, but in the LDS, we have to use address. So, only address supported here. Okay. And in type of instructions are available in all AVR series. However, LDS type of instructions are not available in all AVR. Okay, great. So this was the difference between in and the LDS. Now we are going to see the final instruction set in SFR accessing SFR register that is out. Now we had seen how to read the data from SFR and out through the out we can write the data into the SFR so let's say if I say if I say LDI R20 0x60 and then if I say out SPL R20 what does it mean it means that first R20 will be loaded with the 0x60 and then finally the SPL that is the stack pointer low will be loaded with the 60. Okay. One more thing you might have noticed here that we cannot directly store the data in, in, in these registers SFRs. We have to use a GPR to store the data here. Right. So we need to first load the data into the GPR through the LDI instruction. And then finally, we can store the data into the SPL. Instead of writing here the SPL, we could have written here the address also. So out 0x and we need to get the address of SPL. And if you see here the address of SPL, that is 0x3d. Remember, we will not take this address. For accessing the IO registers, we have to take this address. That is the 0x3d. So here we can write here the 0x0 0, 3d and then r20 it will also load this spl with the 0x60 right okay so here um, i'm going to write a code a small code in which in which i am going to read port B and put the data at port C. That's mean here if you see read the data from this port B and then finally put this data at a port C. Okay. So once we read this port B data, then after that we can perform some ALU operation on that port B data also before putting the port C. But here I am going to just take a very simple example, reading and the writing to the SFR. 
so the instruction becomes like this let's say here we have again so this is known as a label okay so this is a label so again and then we have in r16 and then pin b now here the r16 will be loaded from the data at port b and then i am going to put this r16 data at a port c so the port c and r16 right so here the port c will be loaded with the data present at port b and then finally we are going to implement here while one loop so while one loop that means this is loop or type of instruction we will see later so in this case gmp just is jump okay this is the jump to the again that's when the microcontroller will keep jumping here and then it will keep executing these three instructions for an infinite loop so this is a kind of you can put it into while one loop in which these two instructions will be always executed one more thing i would like to show you here that while using this in instruction we are using pin b that's when the pin type of po, uh, uh, sfr however for the out instruction set we are using port c right that's mean the port and here is the pin so this is the fundamental difference if you want to read a sfr you have to use a pin and if you want to put the data at the port or sfr then you have to use here the port okay so this is all about in this video and uh, thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updated